This series, we're talking about the kingdom emotion, where you live, work, play, and pray. Now, when you live, it's your home. That's where you live with your family and, you know, your loved ones and, and everyone is hanging out at the house and you cook, you share, and just love on them. That's where you live. If you are looking from a global perspective, you're on earth. This is where you live. Now, where you work is not your job. Where you work is where you Use your gifts is where you put your gifts into action to bring about the actual things or to bring about or to show off the actual blueprint that was put inside of you. So here's an example. The only way that someone is going to know that you are good at something is if you actually do it, right? Right, exactly. So where you work is where you actually exercise your gifts. Another example is like everyone has a brainchild. You have an idea in your head. You have something in your head that you can use on your job to make your work better or to increase productivity on your job. When you do this, you're actually working out your gifts. It's just like a lady or a mother that's pregnant and gives birth to the child. When you give birth to the child, you're working it out. You're getting out the gift, the child that's inside of you. The same thing about work. You are working out your talent. Some people call it talent, but I call it a gift. A talent is not the same as a gift. A talent or a skill is how well you use a gift. So a gift basically is what's been given to you. The talent is what people know you for. The skill is how well you use that particular gift. Michael Jordan has a gift, but he is skillful with the gift. How he uses the gift separates him from everyone else. So that's the work part. That's the live part. Now, where you play is completely up to you. Where you play is where you hang out, where you, you know, you're downtime, where you hang it out with your friends and, and where you go out to the park and where you, you go, you do exercise. And these are the things that you do when you play. You can play music, whatever you do leisurely, this is where you play. The kingdom is there too. Where you pray is the next one. Remember, the kingdom in motion where you live, work, play, and pray. Where you pray can be anywhere. You don't necessarily have to be at a church to pray. Because praying is really a communication between the creator and the creator. The creator and the creator. It's a two-way street. Praying is communication between the creator and the creator. Can you walk on the street and pray? Yes, you can. Can you drive in your car and pray? Yes, you can. Can you work and pray? Yes, you can. Can you work in the fields and pray? Yes, you can. Can you shower and pray? Yes, you can. So what am I saying to you? The kingdom is a function. It's the kingdom in motion where you live, work, play, and pray. It's all around you. So I'm bringing this concept to you today to show you that the kingdom is a function. And when you function, people should see the God in you. People shouldn't have to die and go to heaven to see God. They will see the creator through you when you act, when you live, when you play, when you pray, and when you live. Now, one thing I want to clarify, most people have this huge confusion about life and living. Life is a present, it's a gift. You cannot determine um, your parents, you cannot choose your mama or daddy, that's a gift, it was given to you. You are a gift to the world, okay? 
Living now is the process whereby you work out your gifts, where you manifest the things that were placed inside of you. No one would have known Einstein if he were dead at birth. But because he was alive at birth and he worked out the things on the concept E equal MC squared, you came to know these things because Einstein was alive and he lived. The same thing with you. You have a gift inside of you. And when you start to live, then people will know you. And then when they come and, you, and they see you doing what you do so well, I hope in that you will tell them that it's the gift that's inside of you that you're working out. And that you are the kingdom in motion where you live, work, and play. Join me next time when I'm going to explain to you how to bring the kingdom where you live, work, and play. This is Andy Guy. Reminding you that I am building people, connecting communities, and growing teams. I want to encourage you to go pick up a copy of the book. This is what it looks like. If you haven't gotten a copy of this book, I would say to you, my question is, why not? If you haven't read this book or pass it on to someone else, I would ask you, why not? And so, get a copy, share it with someone. I'm, I guarantee that you love this book. Why? Because of the concept that I share in there. There's everything from leadership, the right kind of leadership that works for every leader. There's only one style that works for every leader, and it's in this book. I would encourage you to pick up a copy and share it with your work, share it where you live, share it where you play, and definitely share it where you pray. This is Andrew Guy for Andrew Guy Speaks at Calm, reminding you that I am building people, connecting communities, and I'm growing teams. Take care, and I'll see you again. And be sure to sign up for my email list so I can send you a copy and send you a list of the videos and training that I have coming up. I will be starting a five-part training, and I want to send you out these videos. So please send me an email. Sign up on my email at andrewguyspeaks.com or andrewguyspeaks.com, the kingdom book, and I will make sure we connect.